what if we wanted an area of the door? This is something we needed for work. We need to get a general area of the height times width of the door just so that we can get cost. There is no area parameter inside of the door schedule. Not that I can see here anyways. So how would we go about doing that? Because we do have the height and width parameters, what we can do is create a calculated value and we can call this door area. If we change the type to area, what we can do is type the formula height and what we could actually do is find it here. We can see that height is a parameter. Otherwise we can just type height. That's all it's going to do. And we're going to times that by width. Once we click OK, you're going to see that this is going to add a new parameter or a new column which shows the height times width in meters squared. If we wanted this to not show in meters squared and we want it to be millimeters squared to match um, these units, we can come down to formatting and we can find where that door area is. And now under field formatting, what we can do is check and see what the units are. And you can see it's currently using the project settings. For area, the project settings are in meters squared, but we don't want to use the project settings. So the units we can change to square millimeters. And if we wanted to round it to a certain amount of decimal places, we could do so, but we can leave that at zero because now in millimeters. And we'll just click OK, click OK again, and oh boy, there's too many millimeters. So instead, we want to show this as meters squared. If we go to door area, field formatting, and we change this back to square meters, all we want to do is just show two decimals so it's more accurate. That looks a lot better. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.